Yeah, he still has plenty of time to bring this back around. It's only one win. This is a best of five in the finals. It's not a best of three, so this isn't match point yet. Even so, he's made it all the way to the semifinals and then fought his way to the finals. He did have one bye, but uh, a lot of people would argue that taking Noisy 2-0 probably worth earning you a bye. Can't imagine that wasn't hard fought. I'd love to see those games and see what happened in those. But uh, he's going to need to turn whatever that was back on if he wants to take Riku out here. Mech charging forward yet again. Is he going to teleport over to the power? Is he going to go for the middle? He's going for that power. Pretty typical. Uh, some people you'll see go teleport right in and try to put that victory point pressure on early. But uh, it's questionable what kind of advantage that gets you if you can't really hold it ultimately anyways. So double shooters, chaos space marines, standard stuff all around. And... Let's see, what will the orc go for against Chaos Space Marine? Uh, it's it's a lot trickier, I feel like, uh, tri trickier than Nids even, really, because Chaos Space Marines just have so much, so many great a AoE options. Uh, the Chaos Lord especially is a huge pain. He's gonna get that combo flare, he's gonna get that uh, armor of the Inferno. Uh, let's see. If Ye is going to play like he did versus him, Let's see, I, I don't know if Dark Hero had a thought to continue up there or not, but Riku's gonna have to use Raptors for a good army. We haven't seen any Raptor usage at all yet so far. We've been seeing uh, pretty much just Havoc play and Heretics in Tier 1. Mechboy actually denies the power cap on this side of the map. Playing aggressive. After he got that power, he teleported right in force off those heretics from getting the power and he's going to be able to cap his side of the map got his node capped up already got both nodes actually so he's going to be uh, well ahead in the economy going forward but uh, we'll have to see if he can com convert this map advantage into some uh, some real army advantage as well and win a couple engagements here because you can have the advantage all you want but unless you put it to good use it's not going to go anywhere 468 to 500 and it looks like he's forced Riku to uh, put the power on his kind of more exposed secondary gen farm. Mechboy looking to teleport out of there, but uh, there's not quite enough out here to stop this Chaos Lord right now. Uh, it doesn't look like he went for Ludas right away, so he's not going to be getting either of his big shooters on the field. Uh, it's funny we've seen Ludas both games so far. Chaos Space Marines in on the flank along with the Heretics. Chaos Lord going to be hacking up those shooter boys. He's just, he's doing a good job of stalling and moving around the field without uh, losing too much. It looks like he lost one shooter boy. He's probably going to lose one or two more here on retreat. But now that the looters are on the field, he'll have a much better time of controlling this enemy. Slugger boys weren't even in the fight. They're just doing some capping on the back end. Wouldn't be surprised to see them maybe get some burners so they can burn down the only power that is held by Dark Riku right now, but as it stands, just looking at the map, look, I mean, all Riku has is those natural three wrecks and one power node. He doesn't even have both of his natural powers, so that's pretty, uh, I'd, I'd say, quite impressive from that mech boy early on. Yeah, he's doing a good job of keeping everything well under control. Unfortunately, I think they were kind of set up on that line of sight blocker. They had to stop, get reset up, but the heretics go down anyways, managed to tag a model or two, force them off. Chaos Lord and his Space Marines pushing back on the requisition on the far side. Upgraded with the Combi Flamer now already. Going to give him some pretty excellent DPS from these orcs that are just going to be trying to kite him around. Havoc's coming on the field for Dark Riku as well. Uh, Burners are in fact over here on the Slug is going to burn down. At least that generator might manage to get the note as well. Not sure. Luda's way up there. Unfortunately not supporting the rest of the army and the Mech Boy unupgraded on this side of the map unable to do really much with that that kind of pea shooter he's got to start off with. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Ludas do get the cap. Uh, let's see. Yep, the gens are going to go down. Dark Riku has plenty of requisition though. As soon as he does manage to capture a gen farm, he will be able to purchase some generators pretty easily for it. Good reaction. Uh, oh no, he does retreat. I was going to say good reaction and not retreating that Chaos Lord knowing that the sluggers are there. But uh, unfortunately for the sluggers, they take a face full of Havoc Fire, lose uh, four of their models, and then have to singularly retreat, especially in the face of all these heretics. Let's hope that forward model doesn't go down to Doom Blast. 
unfortunately it does not. And mech boy, man, I wouldn't be surprised to maybe even see some some electric armor or something with how many heretics there are out there. They're just getting charged on the field. Probably a bit overzealous, I guess, against just heretics. But uh, I'm sure once these shooter boys get upgraded, those heretics will be much less of a threat. Full gen farm down for both players now, and the secondary gens are noted. 400 to 492. Noise Marines coming out. Noise Marines, again, just so powerful against what what is primarily a ranged army like there are of course there are of course sluggers on the field but they're really not what you're worried about you're worried about all those big shooters you're worried about the ludas uh we've got yay heading into tier two uh miles ahead of dark riku look my i mean dark riku's got 30 power right now with uh yay heading into tier two with a full gen farm so something like some death dread spam or uh even just the fast truck with the slugger boys could be really impactful in this game. Dark Riku needs, I think, if, if he doesn't get these noise marines in on that gen farm, it's going to be very difficult for him to get back into this game. And, and Riku really should have an idea of what's coming. I mean, it's very uncommon for orcs to not upgrade their big shooters. Uh, the hero's not upgraded. All he's seen as far as power purchases are those Luda Boys and the Burners. So he's got to know that some sort of fast tech is coming, and I think he should really be trying to consolidate his army and push it push it into that gen farm. Noise Marines look like they're going to get what they're looking for. At least find themselves a single generator before getting suppressed. Neckboy moving in on them as well, trying to get into that garrison. Which side is going to get into the garrison first? It looks like, yeah, those those noise marines managed to get it. And the uh, burners on those sluggers are a mile away, so they're not going to be able to get in there either. But, oh man, the death trade's almost up. The death trade's coming out, and Dark Riku hasn't even hit the tier 2 button. He's not even going to be able to for about another minute. Everything's going to get suppressed right here, unfortunately. Uh... Mech boys, not even he's not even going to be really able to engage with these guys for too long, but he did manage to get them unset up, which is at least worth something. And here comes the Death Dread, screaming on in, getting the burners and bits. And, oh man, a nice special attack right out of the gate, too. Havoc's pretty well set up, but it looks like he's trying to get those gens still. So he's going to have to defend the, the generators from the Noise Marines. Lots of fire going down still from those Shooter Boys. Is he going to get... No, it looks like he's not going for a second death trade. I almost kind of expected to, but it looks like he's instead deciding to upgrade his squads. He's got big shooters coming down for both of his squads. Uh, might be having some knobs behind that as well. And the Chaos Lord chasing them all the way home, making sure they had to sit down right on there. 2-0 cap against the red team suddenly. Or the red team meaning, yay, our red player. And the Death Dread's just going to go right for the power. Riku did manage to hit the Tier 2 button, so that's working out for him. But these gens are almost certainly going down again, so that's another big loss for Riku. All things considered, though, despite losing his gen farm, he's been controlling his army fleet very well. So if he, if he can continue this, he will be able to recover from that. But it's just going to be a, a long haul to dealing with that Death Dread before it does any more real damage. And being on the back foot on the victory points as well. Let's see, will the Havoc get suppressed? It does get suppressed by a volley from the Ludas. The Storm, or Slugger Boys aren't trying to move in there. They do manage to break through the suppression. Noise Marines trying to get some damage in there, but I'm not sure those Havocs are getting out of there one way or another. The Doom Blast might save them. The Knob didn't get his final swing of that big chopper down. They have no choice but to retreat in the face of all those heretics. Noise Marines are in a lot of trouble too. And the flanking Death Dread moving in to kill. Let's see if it manages to get that last swing on the Noise Marines. I'm not sure it's going to. There's units between them kind of causing some trouble. 386 to 302. And Plague Marines are coming onto the field. So that, that alone, just even just the snare on the walker is going to make it very difficult for that walker to get a lot done. Uh, let alone not using, losing the darn thing. Blastmaster cannon coming out, that uh, that Noise Marine dubstep cannon that we saw do so much work last game, uh, probably going to be, uh, probably, probably not equally as effective because those choke points on Quest Heresy are obviously so cru crucial to moving up on the map. 
and now Heretic's uh, try, trying to do a little bit of work on the back line, but again, the, the Death Dread's largely unanswered on the field. 286 to 385, though, with a 2-0 cap, and the Chaos Force is just moving centrally onto the map. Gonna lock down the center point, I think, as much as they can, and uh, with, with Riku finally getting into Tier 2, he still doesn't have any power up. Uh, Weird Boy coming out here as well. I mean, so far, we've just really seen Ye keep a lot of pressure on the field. He got that tech advantage, he got the fast death dread out for another gen bash, and it's been really excellent orc play so far on Green Tooth Gorge. This weird boy is going to make it a real nightmare for the things like the heretics and chaos space planes to move forward as well. Not really a great answer for the chaos lord. The chaos lord's still doing pretty well considering all he has to worry about is shooter boys. They don't even have their knobs or anything like that. Just sticking straight to the big shooters right now. Which I mean, I'm not criticizing. I think that's fine. I think there are times you need the knobs and times you don't. Uh, but with let the galaxy burn, you probably want some knobs. And uh, oh yeah, he's he's just purchased them. Last Master Cannon getting some good hits, bitsing a couple of those Slugger boys, but with the Def Dread moving in on that setup team. Oh, and a second. Oh, no, that's just the first Havoc. It was the Noise Marines and the Blast Master that were a threat to that Def Dread. Def Dread now coming in to light this garrison on fire. Havocs have no choice but to get out and take a few hits from that thing. Otherwise, they're just going to get burned right out of there. Let's see, will they lose a model? They do lose a model. And Weird Boy's just kind of hanging out. Let's see, does he have any upgrades? Not yet, Vanilla Weird Boy, as it stands right now. Dark Riku with so little power. He seems, he's sitting on plenty of requisition. I'm not sure if he's saving up for something. But I mean, I feel like you want to get that power up. Uh, you've got some good options right now, but maybe he just wants to advance his army a little further. Havocs. The Havocs, uh, he could he could almost maybe go for a second Havoc squad. Although I guess he doesn't want much more uh, more anti-vehicle. He could possibly get an auto cannon, something like that. Uh, just looking at low power options, since that's kind of what he's stuck with right now. He can't do things like get Dreadnoughts out on the field or, or heavy heavy power infantry upgrades. Mech Boy now with the battery pack and oh the custom force field as well which is always a huge nuisance. He can just teleport in, activate that and force melee with things to just knock them about and keep them from being able to do anything. 185 to 384 and I know we saw a huge comeback before but you never, you never really want to be in that point where you're forced to do something drastic to try to keep the victory points from ticking down because that almost always leads in you uh, unefficiently sacrificing wreck for for map control. Looks moving in on these chaos space marines. They seem unaware over here trying to get this cap. It's Def Dread. What is this Def Dread? Level two and a half right now. Space marines recognizing they can't do too much against that approaching melee threat. And both the shooters getting caught kind of out of position over here. Let the Galaxy Burn goes down a second too late. They'd already retreated. Bloodletters coming onto the field now. It's an interesting choice at this stage. Again, I guess that is also a, a nice high rec low power option, but uh, these gens are just never going to stay up. 129 to 384. It's been a triple cap now against Riku in these past couple engagements. Last Master does knock over all that, but uh, we've got some counter artillery support coming in from that weird boy. They do get the decap at least. It's a now 1-0 cap, so definitely stem the bleed a little bit, but there's still a lot that needs to be done for Riku to be able to take control of this map. This Death Dread still kind of controlling wherever it stands. There aren't really any good mobile options to deal with that, so the Death Dread has smartly just been evading the Noise Marines, evading the Blastmaster wherever possible. Uh, oh, and it looks like, yeah, we do have an auto cannon now, the Market Point finally upgraded. Oh, launching that orc up into the air. I always love that slow motion blast that they get from those auto cannons. They always kind of like lackadaisically launch into the air and then fall slowly down. I don't know what causes that particular physics hiccup, but it's always amusing to me. We have 100 points remaining. 
Bloodletters moving in on the Weird Boy. That's the last thing you want engaged with those Bloodletters. Maybe they can get a lucky knockback, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Although, even so, yeah, wow, those... Those Bloodletters taking a lot of damage. They might even go down. Suddenly, with just a single model left, this, uh... This Death Dread is level 3. So it's actually become rather tough. A single Plague Marine left, and it looks like he's just gonna throw it in there. Uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna work out. He's taken some fire, but he might be able to finish off these Plague Marines, and if nothing else, he's gonna be able to get on, on that Auto Cannon, which is the only thing that can really contest it at the moment. Uh, over here, Chaos Lord forced off the Ludas and uh, Sluggas. Are oh no, this could be a little friendly fire. Nice heal as soon as that hit down. Havoc's escape with 6 HP, Blastmaster now in a lot of trouble on its own. If Riku doesn't pay attention and retreat that right away, oh my, it goes down. And fortunately for the Heretics, uh, it's busy sink killing that guy and tossing him into the woods there, so it couldn't react in time. That Death Dread's now level 4 and out here uh, against some some chaoses that, oh man, Nobs, Nobs when He's actually not close to Nobs, he's just hit the tier 3 button. 50 power, of course. Chaos Lord goes down as well. Dark Riku goes ahead and decides that's GG. Wow. I can't. I, I'm surprised. I'm surprised that Death Dread survived that final push right there against uh, against Plague Marines, against an Auto Cannon, against a Blastmaster. It just walked right up into their face. I mean, again, and that you know, if it hadn't been level four. Uh, it wouldn't have been able to survive that. But level 4 it was. That Death Dread did some serious work. It burned down... Let's, how many gens did it burn down? It burned down... Almost all of those were that Death Dread. But man, good good stuff. That's 1-1 that's one, one taking us into, I guess, what is now effectively a best of 3.